Okay, today's video is going to look at Smith's schema theory. The schema theory tries to explain how we learn and perform discrete perceptual motor skills. If you remember, discrete skills are skills that take a short time to perform and have a clear beginning and end. Hence the discrete part of that definition in the beginning. They involve using our senses to understand what is happening, hence the perceptual part of that definition, and then use our bodies to take action, hence the motor part of that definition. Schema theory was developed by Richard Smith in the 1970s. His work built on the limitations of earlier information processing models that attempted to explain how we create movement from experience. Smith argued that people don't learn specific movements and store these separately in the brain as individual motor programs, as had been theorised up until that point. Schema theory says that we create generalised motor programs for a skill. We do this through exploring the movement. Specifically, we learn the ways in which variations of the same skill are related. Even considering just one action, like a forehand or backhand drive in tennis, the ball is always unique in its height over the net, how fast it is approaching, how much spin it has, the direction of that spin, the height of the bounce, and so on. And let's not forget that these conditions change again, depending on the surface that the players are playing on. The performer will also vary their intentions of how to hit the ball back, faster or harder, or to place the shot left or right, short or long. Even when two shots look identical, they will be slightly different. As we have discussed, this stored information in the generalised motor program is changeable to respond to the situation. The larger the motor program that is achieved through practice, the easier it can be adapted to new situations. Even the best golfers in the world get themselves in tough positions. Their superior schema allow them to apply their generalised motor programs in a variety of situations like these. Give it a go. Well, that he has a chance to play it, yes. It will pop up out of there if you hit it right. I'd say the odds are, what, one in five, though, that he hits it inside of 15 feet. In schema theory, there are three things required to perform a skill. A generalized motor program, a recall schema, and a recognition schema. Before the generalized motor program is executed, the performer engages their recall schema before deciding on the movement response. The more experienced a performer is, the larger their recall schema, which will in turn mean better adjustments into the generalized motor program. On the second playoff hole of the 2012 Masters, Bubba Watson's errant drive landed in the woods right of the fairway. Bubba's ball was 163 yards to the flag in a straight line. But in between the ball and the flag was a Carolina cherry tree, a magnolia tree, a TV tower, and hundreds of patrons. He was in jail. A straight shot 163 yards along that line puts him in a bush left of the green. Well, from this spot, which is where a dead straight ball would have landed, the flag is still 35 yards away. As Bubba approached the ball, he would have assessed his options. In a sport like golf where there is no time pressure, his recall scheme has a lot of time to process the information in front of him. In an invasion sport such as rugby, the athlete has far less time and the recall schema works subconsciously. The recall schema has two parts. First, it assesses the initial conditions, i.e. the situation you are in. Here, Bubba is looking at the ball, looking at where the hole is, looking if there are any obstructions in the way. The response specification interprets this information and feeds it forward into the generalised motor program for an action to occur. Bubba would have assessed what is the best play here, aggressive or safe? Which club should I select? How hard do I need to hit the ball? 
What type of shot is best given the situation to help me achieve my goal? This situation would be an absolute nightmare for an amateur, but a professional golfer like Bubba Watson with a well-developed schema, he was able to pull out the shot of his lifetime, put the ball in the green, one putt and win the Masters. The 17th and what a scene it is. Johnny, I have seen a number of players putt from the back part of this green and the results have not been good. I mean, that's better than most. How about him? That is better than most. Better than most! Recognition schema used to evaluate the movement from the sensory information. It is used during and after the response. Throughout a movement, the recognition schema is compared to the expected kinesthetic feel from the ongoing movement to evaluate the efficiency of that response. If the response outcomes are not as desired, the schema are then modified based on the sensory feedback and knowledge of results, as is the case here with KJ Choi, who ensures on his second attempt he hits the ball further to reach the green. <laughs>